Hi, science friends. Today, we're going to talk about something that makes up everything in the whole world. No, the whole universe. It's called matter. Can you say matter? Good job. What is matter? We're going to find out. So go get your science apron, your safety goggles, mom, dad, or another adult, and meet me back in the Beaker's lab. See you soon. Hi, I'm just weighing my friend Lulu the Llama here. Why am I weighing her? Because we're about to talk about matter. What is matter? Well, matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. And Lulu here has weight, my scale tells me so. And let's see, does she take up space? Hmm, let's see if she fits in my bag. She does, look, she's taking up space. So if she has weight and my scale, that's one of my scientific tools, tells me she has weight and she takes up space. So yes, she's made of matter. And let's see, am I made up of matter? I know if I got on the scale, it would tell me I had weight. And do I take up space? Well, look, I'm here. Now I'm over here and I'm over here. So I'm taking up space. Let's see, do I fit in my bag? Not really, but I do take up space more than Lulu. So am I made of matter? Yes. Hmm, do you have weight? Have you ever been weighed by a scale? Yes, I'm sure you have weight. And do you take up space? Yes, so we're all made up of matter. Let's learn a little bit more about matter. There are three common states of matter. A state of matter is just a form, not a state like Idaho or California or Texas. A state is just a form. So there are three common states of matter. We have solids, liquids, and gases. Let's start with solids. Solids have a shape and a size, and they have these tiny particles. Can you say particle? Good job. Their particles are so close together that you can't move through them. See, it's solid. Like me, you can't move through me. Or Lulu, can't move through Lulu. The particles are so close together. Good job. So our solids have a size and a shape and the particles are close together. Let's act out those particles. Here they are, close together. They're so close together and they can't move very much. Let's do it. Here we go. We're going to be a solid. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Okay, good. Good solids. Let's move on to liquids. Liquid matter has size, but no shape. It can only take the shape of whatever's holding it. If I were to pour the water out, it would just splash everywhere. Right now, our liquid is taking the shape of this bottle. If I were to pour it in this bowl, it would take the shape of the bowl. If I poured it into the beaker, it would take the shape of the beaker. If we filled up my lab, it would take the shape of the lab. You get it. And liquid particles are more spread out, and so they can move around like this. Pretty cool, right? And you can move through liquid. It's a little harder, like when you walk through a swimming pool, it takes a long time, but you can do it. Do you wanna act like liquid particles? Let's do it, here we go. Here we go. Pretty cool, right? Yes, let's do it, good job. Okay, let's talk about gases. Gas matter. Gas has no real size or shape because its particles are so spread out, it just keeps moving out and up and up it can fill anything and take up any space. Air, the air we breathe, that's a gas. It's inside of this beaker. It's inside of this lab. It's inside my body. That's right. Well, we know that solids like Lulu here, we know that she has weight and takes up space. We know that we have weight and take up space. We know that liquids, they have weight. We can measure it. And we know that it's definitely heavier and takes up space in the bag. But what about air? I can't see it. Can you see it? I can't hear it. Hello? Air? Air? Hello? I can't hear it. How do we know if it's taking up space and has weight? We might have to do an experiment. Experiment time. Okay, so I have a really fun experiment here. 
Here we go. Are you ready? We're going to measure the weight of air. I just have a ruler, two balloons, and a string. Right now, they seem pretty equal in weight, but I'm going to fill one up with air from my lungs. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, air, here we go. Let's fill up this balloon. Okay, let's see if it weighs anything. We'll just tape it onto the end. Now, let's see which one is heavier. Three, two, one. Oh! Air has weight. It's heavier than the empty balloon. So what is our answer? What did we learn? Air has weight. Air is a gas. Gas has weight. Now, let's see if it takes up space. We're going to use our bag. Hmm. Do you think it's going to take up space in my bag? It did it! So, what did we learn? Air has weight, takes up space, air is a gas. Gas must be a matter. Good job, guys. We did it. Okay, let's learn a little bit more about matter. So what have we learned so far? Everything in the whole world is made up of matter. Matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Matter can be a solid, liquid, or gas. But my next question is, can matter change states? Can it change from a solid to a liquid or to a gas? Let's find out. I want you to meet my friend, Molly the Molecule. Say hi, Molly. Molly is a molecule. Can you say molecule? Good job. Those tiny particles we talked about in matter, they are molecules. Now Molly has even smaller particles called atoms. Can you say atom? Good job. Now Molly's atoms, they have letters on them. Do you see that? Her atoms have two H's and an O. Yes. Her H's stand for something called hydrogen. Can you say hydrogen? Good job. And her O stands for oxygen. Can you say oxygen? Good job. Together, her atoms make something called H2O, or water. That's right. Molly is a water molecule. Pretty cool, right? Now, what state of matter is Molly in inside of our bottle? Hmm, she is a liquid. Good job. Now, can Molly change states of matter from a liquid to a solid or a gas? Yes. Let's see if we can change Molly from a liquid to a gas. Now, she can do it, but we have to add something called energy. Can you say energy? Good job. Now, what kind of energy can we add to Molly to make her particles move really fast and spread out even more? Hmm, it's called heat. I have something that can make Molly really hot. It's called a kettle. It can boil Molly. Let's see. I'm gonna add Molly. Bye, Molly. We're gonna turn on our kettle and we're gonna boil the water. Now, when she boils, her particles are gonna get hot and they're gonna move faster and faster. Let's move fast, like particles. Here we go. Okay. Molly, are you in there? <gasps> I see her. She changed states. Look, she is a gas. What do we call Molly? The molecule H2O, water, when she is a gas. We call her water vapor. Look at her go. Bye, Molly. What do gases like to do? They like to go up.
they keep moving. All those particles, they spread out and they keep going. Okay, so what do we want to do with Molly if we want to make her a solid? Hmm, well, if we added energy to make her move faster and spread out, we have to take away energy and make her particles get really close. What do solid particles look like? That's right, so we have to remove energy. If we added heat, maybe we have to add cold. That's right, so maybe we can put Molly in the freezer. Let's see, I think I have a freezer down here. Molly! I froze Molly and now she is ice. That's right. Molly, the water molecule as a solid is ice. But look what's happening already. Just the energy, the heat energy from my hand is turning her back into a liquid. She's melting all over me. Hello, Molly. So Molly, the molecule, she can change states of matter, but no matter what she changes into, solid, liquid, or gas, she's the same water molecule. Pretty cool, right? Awesome, let's learn more about matter. All right, guys, it's your turn. I need you to change Molly the molecule from a solid to a liquid to a gas and back again. Here's what you're gonna need. Mom, dad, or another adult, because we don't experiment by ourselves, right, scientists? Okay, good. You're gonna need Molly the molecule, water. You're going to need something to boil Molly with, and you're going to need something to freeze her with. Do you have a freezer? Okay, good. Then you have everything you need. So get going. Change her. See how many times you can change her. Record your data. Also, I'm gonna challenge you to find three liquids in your house. Hmm, how about five solids in your house? And come up with maybe one gas and your adult can help you. Have fun. What do you think, Lulu? I think they can do it. See you later.